Why you hate Aries, huh? Why? Why do you hate Aries? Aries starts with an A. Number one. Why do you hate A? <laughs> In my case, <clears throat> I'm an. They say it's a ram. Ram, we, we will butt heads. We will be fighting. We are warriors. That's our spirit. And in the Chinese zodiac, because Chinese right now in 2022, the Chinese are on top of the world. And according to the Chinese, me, I am a dragon, an Aries dragon, but not any dragon. I'm the wood dragon. That means I'm in tuned with nature, to nature. I'm connected to source. Why do you hate Aries? Ha, let me tell you why. Well, you know why. <coughs> Aries talks about things, right? I, one of my friends, I actually snoozed her for 30 days. Because, come on, she's a Leo. I love Leo, but Leo don't love me. Leo don't love me because I speak truthfully. And Leo have secrets. Leos are guilty of things they're probably even ashamed of. So Leo don't want you to speak. Leo don't want you to talk like Capricorn. Capricorns too have se Capricorns have so many secrets that they give themselves brain tumors. They get cancer of the brain because of all the secrets they're keeping. They're toxic. And Leo the same way. Leo <clears throat> feels they are free and they are, right? King of the beasts. See, that's the theory. King of the beasts. It's not king, it's not God of gods. It's not <laughs> king of man. It's king of the beasts. So Leos are beasts. <laughs> like, what am I, right? I'm a beast. A ram is a beast. <clears throat> what is a dragon? A dragon is otherworldly, and that's what I am. I'm unique. So I keep, you know, I'm responding because I hear it daily, man. Why daily? <coughs> Pardon me. Should I stop because I'm coughing? Mm, I'm so... I'm heated up. First it was cold. My brother put the heat up. And he left. It's very, very hot now. I'm taking the layers off. That's good. <coughs> Pardon me. Why you hate Aries? So this Leo friend. And I like this friend, okay? Leo. In the US. Black woman. And as a Leo, she's always on display. She feels free. She feels free to opine. She speaks her mind. She, She's always... Updating posts, status, she's telling you, she's telling you her life, she's telling you her business. And that's okay, you see? But when an Aries, Aries can't say things. Aries can't be in your business. Here's the thing. As an Aries, right, if I'm in your business and I'm talking about your business, it's only because your actions have affected me in an adverse way. Okay? And if in my interaction with you, it's good, it's positive. I'm going to also reflect that in my speech, in my story. Because I speak truth fully. So I give the good and the bad. But you Leos, you are so vain and conceited. All you want to hear is how great you are, how wonderful you are, how beautiful you are. You're the most beautiful. Oh yes, look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you. We're looking at you. But there's more to life than vanity and conceit. Hate me now. Hate me now. Why you hate Aries? I'm going to tell you why. I'm dealing. I, I don't deal with many people. I try to be selective. And there comes time when I will need something from someone. It's very rare because I try not to need people. Because I notice that when I need people, they like to say no to me. People enjoy. They get a kick. They get a some erection from saying no to me. You know, they get a whap from saying no to me. It turns them on to say no to me. To be mean to me, to turn me down, to uh, turn me off, to, they, oh, to, to take from me without giving, to be unbalanced in my sphere. <laughs> and then when I've had enough, because I take a lot. <clears throat> and because I take a lot, they keep giving me the same shit. Then I'm like, I've had enough. And that's when I become, I show you who I truly am, the dragon ram. The dragon ram, wood. What is hard... Dragon breathing fire 
Aries, the ram, butting. I got them big horns. Okay? That's what I do. It's my nature. You don't like it because I'm not there flattering you, being fake like you with you, only telling you how wonderful you are, never challenging you. You don't want to hear about the shit you do, but you keep doing it. You're not improving yourself. You're not becoming better. You just look becoming more showy, more gaudy, more tacky. Look at me. We are looking. I'm saying, I'm looking, I'm listening. I'm giving you attention because I know you love it. You can't live without it. Why you hate Aries in this fake world? Aries tends to get real. We get real and they don't like it. Aren't you all sick and tired of everything fake? Everything is a lie. Up is down. Good is bad. Evil is good. You're going on this course that I can't follow. So it's important for you all to be popular. You like to be a part of the crowd. I'm not that. I'm not her. I'm not she. I'm not he. I'm not them. They. I am me. I am Pi. P-I-E. Domina Della. Mistress Sasha Storm. Like a tropical hurricane. I blow in and I blow out. <laughs> I am the sun. I am the flame, the light, and I'm bright. And you can't handle this light. Irritating all your demons, you, got, you are besieged by demons. And that's why you are so unpleasant when you see me. What is wrong with me telling the story? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me and my life and what happened to me. If you happen to be in the story, it's because your ass was in the story, in the scene, playing your part, which was not a good part. But you chose the part you played. I didn't choose it for you. You decided to be whatever a-hole you wanted to be at that moment in time in my life. So I'm telling the story because, you know, and see, this is how I purge. This is how I cleanse this is how I kind of like heal, you know, it's, it's therapeutic. <clears throat> so you give me a toxic heap and I work it. I work through it. I get through it. It's like an obstacle in my way. I'm, I'm on my merry sunshiny way. Here you come. Yeah, I'm Mistress Sasha Storm, but you're the one <coughs> throwing these dark clouds. You don't like to see us as our sunny selves. So we have to bring some storm. I got to take some water. Because I'm coughing. I'm not going to be like a tarot reader and say that I'm coughing because, oh, they don't, they don't want the message out. They don't want me talking about it. I don't care. I will cough if I have to cough. I can take a pause and have a refreshment and return. Now let's get real with Aries. Why you hate Aries? Okay. Aries is not perfect. Neither are you. No one's perfect. But here's the thing you all keep missing. It's a point that I keep making and you keep missing. There is no one zodiac sign that's better than the others, especially as, as zodiacs go. It's, it's, it's not, it's, it's just, it's a little misguided because you can't trust the science <clears throat> of it. You really can't. Oh, we have 12, we have 12 signs, 13 signs, 13th sign. And, and, you know, but I see certain things, right? So all I'm, observing and I want to press this point is that in all the signs you have good and bad it's, just, it's so simple it takes me back to source and source to me is good source to me is positive even if source can be destructive because from destruction comes out of the chaos comes order and things get chaotic on this earth who the hell is there to shake it up if everybody is going along with chaos and acting like it's normal if everybody is everybody oh well look at me I'm making all this money I am a million titles, I do this, that, and the other, and I'm buying the latest and the newest. Listen, my family, many of my family members are like that. They are very proud of their lives. They've achieved, they've gone to school, and they've studied, they've been such a good girl, such a good boy, and then they have their careers, and they get all the trappings of what is considered success. And they're very successful, and they're happy, and then they travel here, travel there, while I'm like, ah, uh, you know what? Things are amiss. In my time of travel, 
I saw things that you all miss. You don't really feel the pain of those people in ad adverse situations in those places you visit where you are a tourist, you're enjoying the life and, you know, yeah, there's a man begging in the street, but, you know, there's a man begging on the street back home in the U.S. or in Canada or wherever. So, but I go a little deeper than that. It touches me deep to my core. Because we ought not be begging in the streets anywhere on this in this world where we have abundance. But because of how you all have gone along with these shitstorms, you just fall in line. And all my family members, I am, how you say, they are disappointed in me. I'm a disappointment to them, apparently, right? Because I don't have those trappings. But I didn't need those trappings. I didn't need a man in my life like my mother had a man in her life, Capricorn with a Taurus. What does Taurus do? Taurus cheats. Cheats, 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 and cheats again. And if you're a Taurus who doesn't cheat, let of mercy, you are blessed. Because that is very rare. You're a gem, and I treasure you, and you value yourself. Because if you are committed to someone, why the hell are you cheating? And it's called cheating for a reason. You know, it's like being a gangster, being a criminal, you know, being a bad person. It's as simple as that. You're choosing to be a good or a bad person because you are besieged by demons or not. And it's, 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 sometimes it's more than one demon, right? <laughs> so my mother married a man. She had two children with him. My mother was okay, you know, like she wasn't okay when I was a child beating the crap out of me. She was abusive. But now my mom, you know, that's why I'm here because I want to set the record straight. I want to tell the story. Yes, my mother did these bad things to me as a child. But guess what? Her mother did to her. You know, she did not know how to love me because she had not been loved. You cannot give to your child what you, what you lacked. By the time the other children came along, she could give more. To them than I ever received and and I ah, come on man I can tell things I, I can see things I can see clearly and I understood but it doesn't hurt any less and especially when people are reminding you you look so much like your mother listen my mother was a Capricorn everybody loves Capricorn aren't don't you don't you all love Capricorn because aren't they so cute so pretty so perfect they're so perfect they're so great and, and they love, they chase the bag, they chase the bag. All they care about is the motherfucking bag. So they don't love people as much as they love the bag. As, love, as much as they love being rich, being wealthy. That's what they, that's their goal, their mission. I have to be successful. I must make money. I gotta have this thing. I gotta have this house, this property. I gotta have this. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have, have. And then hoard, hoard, hoard. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I cannot give a thing. I cannot share with anyone. I am stingy and greedy. Aries is generous. Aries will share. Aries will give. I, 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 listen, like I said, good and bad. You have the evolved and the unevolved of all signs. So when you're speaking in this way, you fail to comprehend that you're talking about an unevolved Aries or an unevolved Leo. Yeah? You got to get it. You got to grasp it. It's not all Scorpios are the same. Some are better than others. You got levels to this shit. You got the levels like that philanthropist who shall not shall remain nameless because I know it's part of my blacklisting and shadow banning and restricted pages and, and putting me in cages and muzzling and you know you can't say this and you can't do that and you're in jail and you're in jail they just love they what they love to lock you up you can't lock up my creativity though and if you put me in jail guess what I'm going to be even more creative because I'll be alone. Give me solitary confinement. Watch me rise. Why you hate Aries? Many of you, you support these things. These, so, these, these, you're set up, right? And who is from the arts? Who are the artists? And who are those benefiting most financially from the arts? I see many artists of a darker hue. And those who are in charge and control are not. And yet, 
They're not the artists. They're not the stars. But they have the money and the control. Why you hate Aries? So instead of questioning things and choosing to not be a part of that shitstorm, you go in because you want the fame, you want the fortune, you want the wealth, you want the money, and you want the exposure, you want to be seen, you want people to worship you. Oh, you're a star. You want to be that. So you overlook everything else. Even if you're signing on the dotted line, you're signing away, they say you're giving away your soul. I don't know how that, I don't know how that works. I don't know about this realm. Okay? But you, you willingly and knowingly give a lot up. You even give up your back door. You leave it wide open. You got your whole self open. Your mouth. And they do all sorts of things to you. Listen. They would come to me. How did they see me? They viewed me. They didn't view me as this. They always view me as the dominant. They always wanted me to dominate them. Why? Because I honor myself first. I love myself and I approve of myself. I can approve of myself when I choose to not do that which is against myself. As many of you do. Signing contracts. What does contracts begin with? Con. You're conned. But are you really conned? You know, don't be naive in this world. So I chose, instead of selling myself mind, body, soul, I just continued to be myself. And being myself means speaking truthfully. I could do this anytime, any place, anywhere. But I prefer to do it alone. The reason being that some people can't stand the sound of my voice. My voice irritates their demons. Why you hate Aries? Aries will tell you exactly how they feel. They won't tell you right away though. They put up with your shit. Over and over and over again, they put up with your shit. And that, I believe, is one of the faults of Aries. Aries should not let you cross boundaries that many times without letting you have it. But we are actually sweet at the core. Because that's where love exists. In me, it's God. God is what you say. Some say the most high. I say source. I love source. Because I just feel I'm fueled. From like all directions, I'm fueled. And I just say, yes, it's a source. My energy comes to me quite naturally as, as though it's all part of the universal. It's all part of the universe, multiverse. It's all part of this world. I am part of it. I, and, and that's why I care. That's why I don't fit in over there, what they call Babylon. I don't fit in there because... I've been there. I've been there so that I now know that it's not my sphere. It's not for me. It's not my place. I know my place. My place is above. That's where I was placed. Even though I serve my family as a slave, as a servant, as a maid. And when you're a servant, a slave or maid, you really don't want to be all nails done, hair did. Body did do, do, do outfits, clothing, and labels, brand names, and shoes, and eyelashes, and eyebrows painted on, and weaves and wigs pressed down so that, oh, it looks like I may be Indian. I got Indian hair, got Indian roots. They call it good hair, good hair. The black people, the black people. <laughs> talked about good hair because they did not consider their hair to be good hair and they were even if the black power came and gave them the afro and the afro puffs and the fist they they still slid you know they slid back and they now they you cannot get them out of this freaking straight hair guess who had the, the hair you all are paying so much money for my grandmother's father my great-grandfather was the indigenous man. He was the dark-skinned Indian from the Caribbean that you say don't exist. You say, oh, the natives are like the Siberians, the yellow-skinned ones. They were not original. They were brought. Okay? Let's get real now and stop with the lies. The black women and the men, 
they are combing the black children's hair on video online and the majority of them using a lot of products various products a lot and brushing uh, brushing down and flattening and pressing the hair down so it looks like my great grandfather's hair did the one who they said did not exist he wasn't light skinned he wasn't yellow he wasn't he was very black skinned with that indian hair and that's where the expression came from when you mixed the, the offspring they still had a bit of that mix and even that was considered good hair okay but you can look at different textures of hair as far as i'm concerned it's all good hair you just have to know your hair and know what works best for it for me it's locks but i've been wearing locks for so long but over 20 years i'm wearing locks and now i'm seeing all the people now wearing locks as i, I would call them and, and pardon me for saying this the lowest of lives wear locks now and they all do it in you know they they have it like a style like it's shaved shaved in the back and the sides and then it's a bunch of locks on the top and they sometimes put it in a ponytail and they suddenly color it put some blonde in there and they all have it all the rappers all the young ones they that's what they're doing and most of them they did not grow those locks these are faux locks they are fake that's the world we're living in and i expose it and that's why you hate aries go ahead keep hating i love myself i approve of myself i love and approve of myself so much that i never use all these products and press my hair down my hair going to do what it's going to do i all i care about is that it's clean it's conditioned it's moisturized but i don't want to have to defy nature and try to make my hair look like those people that i hate because they had this beautiful glossy wavy black hair like my great grandfather my great grandmother had hair like that but mixed with a more coily pattern beautiful as well my great grandmother's hair more like mine beautiful hair i don't care but y'all do and you hate me because you can tell i don't claim that african ancestry okay i don't i say we are indigenous the americas this part of the world is a turtle island listen this is where we are from we are from the caribbean and y'all again you find you know it's not just the aries you hate you know you hate that i'm a woman that i'm a black woman that i'm a black woman in the darkest hue that i've identified as queer in the past now i say asexual i ain't anything i am no labels except it, the fire of aries is in me and i keep seeing every day man we must really disturb you all we piss you off you cannot get our names out of your freaking mouths i never hear anybody complain so much about the other signs but they always talking about how much they hate they'll come out and say i hate aries well you're an idiot because aries are not all the same are we no there are aries i can't stand let me tell you something i've come to know aries they got on my last last nerve So I can understand. I can understand you getting upset with Aries because Aries can be irritating. Why? Because they're the unevolved ones that you've dealt with. Just acknowledge that. Okay? Instead of oh, I hate Aries. Aries. <laughs> yeah. Aries are very like when we're younger, we speak and we don't really think. We just go by the feeling. We are so in our feelings. And most of you you turn off your feelings. You are numb. One of them they said Leo, yeah. He told he told me he don't deal with issues and problems. He just put them all in a closet and locked the door. I said one day that the, these all of these skeletons in that closet are going to bust out and bust your ass. Yes. Why you hate Aries? Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, comment or not. It's all good. I'm Domina Della Pai, Mistress Sasha Storm. Thank you. Good day. Why you hate Aries? Chuh.